Okay, we're going to cover a quick introduction to cubic functions here in this recording. And we'll begin with looking at a cubic equation. Now, as I look at these equations, all of these over here are going to be classified as cubic. And the reason for them being classified as cubic is that each of them has a highest degree exponent of 3. Notice the largest exponent in each one of these is 3, thus making it cubic. This extra x term here, this has an exponent of 1. Don't forget if we don't write it there, we assume it's a 1. So the largest exponent is a 3. Here I've got degree 1, 2, and 3. So the largest one. Now we compare that with the equations we have been talking about. For instance, this one has a largest exponent of 2. Thus, this is a quadratic equation, degree 2. And this one has a highest exponent of 1. Remember, if I don't write it in there, we assume that that is a 1. All right. So the difference we see with the equation is this highest degree exponent of 3, thus making it a cubic equation. Now, in the table, we'll also see a difference between our different types of equations we've talked about. First off uh, is when we look at the differences, the rate of change here. If I look all the way back to our linear equation here on the right, if I take the difference, I'm having a constant change first off in the x values. I'm going up by 1. That's a constant change. And if I look at the change in the y's, from negative 3 to 1, that's a change of 4. 1 to 5, again 4. 5 to 9, 4. 9 to 13, 4. It's a constant change there. Now, if I look at the difference when I'm talking about a quadratic equation, that first difference there, well, let's see what happens. 21 to 9, that's going down 12. 9 to 5, that's going down 4. It's not constant going up by 4, going up by 12. It's not constant. But when I look at the second differences, so the differences of the differences, more or less, now I get a constant change. This changes by 8, goes up 8. Again, from negative 4 to 4, goes up 8. From 4 to 12, goes up 8. So it's this second difference here the second difference is the same for a quadratic, which incidentally has degree 2. So second differences are the same for quadratics. Now, you probably already make a guess with cubics. The first differences, let's take those away. Our first differences do not stay constant. Second differences, let's see, down 24, no change, up 24, no difference there. But the third difference is 24 and 24, those are the same. So this third set of differences will be constant for a cubic, which also has degree 3. So if it's the third difference that's the same, it's going to be cubic. Second difference is the same, quadratic first difference linear and notice that that degree of the difference matches the degree of the equation all right great the th last thing I want to take a look at actually has to do with the graph what does the graph look like all right I'm gonna call it my favorite online graphing utility desmos.com and we're gonna take a look at our graphs of these equations. We're going to start with the linear equation. Here I've got that one, 4x plus 5. That comes out as a line, linear equation. We've worked with linear equations before. Now if I take this x and change it to having an exponent of 2, thus making a quadratic, we see we get a parabola. So quadratics had parabolas, linears had a line, third degree, the cubics, actually give us 
uh, an N or some people call it an S type shape. So if we see a graph that looks like this, we know we're dealing with a cubic equation. Now those are some of the basic differences between linear, quadratic, and cubic equations. Otherwise, they still work the same as far as being uh, a function. This is a relation that is a function. Uh, we can create input-output tables. We can use those input-output tables to create graphs. We could talk about x and y intercepts. All those normal things we do with uh, with equations and specifically polynomials we can do with quadratics. The differences are as I outlined here for you in this video. Thank you very much. Enjoy.